Hi developers, today I will show you how to build a Teams app by using Teams Toolkit for Visual Studio. We will start with the setup, I will show you how to install Teams Toolkit for Visual Studio and then we will build our first Teams app by using ASP.NET Core. And finally, we will enhance our app by using calendar events, to-do tasks and file folders. Let's get started. When you're installing Visual Studio, make sure to select ASP.NET Web Development Workload and Teams Development Tools. Once Visual Studio is installed, it's time to create our first Teams app. Select Create a new project and search for Microsoft Teams app. Select Teams app and Next. Give a name to your project. I'll call it as My Productivity Dashboard. Create. After that, select the type of the app you would like to create. For this project, we will create a tab. Your Teams tab is created. Before you run the app, you will need to right-click to the project, select Teams Toolkit, and prepare Teams app dependencies. Make sure to log in with your Microsoft 365 account to test your app. This process will complete all of the preparations for you, including Azure Active Directory app registration for authentication. Once preparations are done, run your app by clicking Microsoft Teams Browser or F5. Once Visual Studio initializes your app, log in with your Microsoft 365 account. Teams will automatically run your app after the login. Select Add and after that you should be able to see your first Teams tab. As you see here, we already have authentication in the default template. Our next step is to enhance our tab with Microsoft 365 data, so you can view your calendar events, to-do tasks, or file folders from your app. We will leverage from Microsoft Graph Toolkit components and provider to design our productivity dashboard. Let's initialize our msl 2 provider under the host.cshtml so we can enable single sign-on and we can run our components. Since Teams Toolkit for Visual Studio handles Azure Active Directory app registration, we will use existing client ID and authority configuration in our MSAL provider as well. We will need to create an empty redirect page for single sign-on process. Right-click to www root and select new item and create HTML and name it as blank dash oath dash and .html. You don't have to add anything in the HTML file, you just leave it as it is. Let's update the permissions.json as well. We will need to access calendar files and to-do tasks, so we will need more permissions than the user read. Our authentication part is done. Let's design our tab with Microsoft Graph Toolkit components. I will first add login component and then I will add some structure to our HTML and I will start adding the agenda component. To do component. And finally, file list component. Let's add some CSS to style our tab as well. So it will look structured and we will have three columns to show different items. And finally, let's remove the previous app dependencies, delete state local JSON file and right click to the project, select Teams Toolkit and select Prepare Teams App Dependencies. This will help us create a new Azure Active Directory app registration with the new list of permissions so that we can view calendar, to do and file folders. Now you're ready to test your productivity dashboard. So click Teams Browser or F5. This will initiate your Teams. Make sure to log in with your Microsoft 365 account. If you don't have any Microsoft 365 account to test your app, you can get a free one by just registering Microsoft 365 Developer Program. This will provide you a free tenant where you can test your Teams apps or other Microsoft 365 applications. Just select Add 
And now you should be able to view your productivity dashboard. Your productivity dashboard is ready to use. We have calendar events, to-do tasks, and file folders in a single place. We also have a tutorial available for this sample if you're interested in following step-by-step -step and building your own productivity dashboard hands-on. Please check the description box for the link of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.